<laughs> I'd like to thank my biggest fan. <laughs> okay, so uh, my niece recently turned two years old, like a month ago, and I like wrote this and like an episode where I was just crying and like having like a really emotional time. And it's about her, kind of. You said chata in attempt to ask for a glass of horchata. Y te di limonada, and you drank not noticing a difference, just grateful for the cool beverage quenching your thirst. You said mama. I said no soy tu mama, you said mama again. I said what's up mama. You call me baba and I say yes, that's me. Bella, soon you will be talking. You're already talking, but soon you will be speaking. Generating conversation, telling stories, making things up, letting your imagination paint blue skies in the middle of the monsoon. Annabella, when you learn to speak, know that you hold power in your words. Know that you are born with a perspective that no one can take from you because you, niña, are a brown baby from the west side of Tucson y nadie te puede quitar eso. Y es por eso que te suplico que como chicana aprendas a usar tu voz. Así es que más que vale que empieces a aprender el español, cabrona, because you, chiquilla, have a unique perspective and there are hundreds of stories that only you can tell, so tell them. Right, mi niña. Talk about growing up in the desert that resides on hills or the choya growing by your front door. Put your Mexican and American identities on paper because I promise they cannot stay bottled up in your skin. So when you feel it poking out of your stomach, let it out through your fingertips onto the blank page, make art. Use language to paint desert flowers, to draw images of your mother and father, write. Write about your travesuras con Leila y Elvis. Write about growing up in a religion that was used to control your ancestors. Write about your ancestors. But about how their stories brown your skin, your hair, your eyes. Write about your eyes. Escribe en inglés y en escribe en español aunque seas pochita. Por favor, let your writing bleed brownness. Let your writing be, bla be brown without blood. And if you bleed, write. Search for yourself in blank pages. In that, in that you will find power in your words. Do not ever let blood or depression, or other voices beat you down. So understand me, niña, before you even learn how to speak, there will be people telling you that your voice doesn't matter. So it is up to you to be brown, and in doing so, be apologetic, be mexilent, be fuerza, be mujer, be chicana, because chica, your voice matters. Thank you. Oh, yeah.